anime jumping. In most anime, there's always gonna be a character that gets jumped, usually the villain. But among the several anime that just has the villains getting jumped, not many does it as good as Jujutsu Kaisen. Jujutsu Kaisen took the idea of getting jumped and turned it into an art form. Never in my life have I seen somebody get jumped so masterfully other than that one scene in JoJo where they jumped. <laughs> but Jujutsu Kaisen has mastered the art of getting jumped. Today we're gonna be looking at two of my favorite jumpings of not just Jujutsu Kaisen, but an anime altogether. Mahito gets the two-piece combo. That's how it goes. First of all, how you gonna start the fight by getting your face discombobulated, bro? This is how we knew you was already about to get boxed up, bro, because th this is how the fight started, bro. You, he was flabbergasted too. My dog's like, hey, yo, what the fuck? There's no reason he should be able to do that. But Itadori kept on coming for him and, you know, throwing punches. And then this nigga says this. I'm just going to keep on pounding him. What did he say? Okay, bro, that is the most sus thing that you could ever say during a fight, bro. You're gonna pound this nigga? Hey, yo, like, pause, bro. You you couldn't have said anything else, but you're gonna pound this nigga into the ground, bro. Yo, like, dude, you might wanna calm down there. Pause. But as the fight goes on, Ito Itadori is getting pressed a little, bro, and he finally catches Itadori and tried to fuck with that nigga's soul. And Sukuna was like, hey, are, are you touching my soul right now? Who the f- hey, in here little nigga this is the only time you will ever get to do this you ever come near my soul again i will f you in the he didn't actually say that but <laughs> look at this nigga mahito's face bro he was shitting bricks already but after catching Bruh. itadori off guard again he was about to go for that blow and then nanami shows up and this is when the jumping begins. Nanami was like, hey, yo, why is he bleeding? What happened to his face? Itadori was like, I, I kind of boxed him up earlier. And Abe was like, hey, did you, did you let him touch you? Of course, Itadori said yes. And then Nanami's like, all right, bro, listen here, dude. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna stop him from moving. And when we finally get an opening, we're gonna give him that two piece. Bro, this was a calculated jumping, a premeditated violation. Oh. And so they proceed with the plan. And the jumping begins. Now, it took a little minute of them fighting him, but what they finally that? caught that nigga lacking. And the worst beat down in anime started. And oh my on, god, bro. The way they out. had this nigga's oh head god. turn. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad for this nigga Mahito, bro. He is getting boxed up. When I tell you Jujutsu Kaisen has some of the best jumpings in anime, bro. This is what I mean, bro. This is the definition of getting jumped. They barely gave this nigga time to even think. Yeah, that nigga's throwing hits back to back. Until Mahito got tired of their shit and opened the fucking domain expansion. And they left Itadori's stupid ass outside because he didn't want to deal with his ass. But you know, Itadori being a little bit brain dead, he punches his way in. And that's when Sukuna comes out and was like, Hey, bro, didn't I tell you there wouldn't be a second warning? Uh, now I'm about to f*** your ass. Wait, you mean fuck my ass up, right? <laughs> And he fucked up his domain expansion and blew it up. Man, I fell down to my knees when the law came. Yuji seeing an opportunity goes for one last hit to murk this nigga out of existence. But you know, Mahito being an Orochimaru clone, he, he just slithers away into a fucking drain and runs away. Our next jumping, actually, before I even get to our next jumping, there's one beat down that I have to, I have to talk about. Toto beating the shit out of Megumi for no reason. This nigga Toto showed up and was like, hey, listen, homeboy. What kind of women do you like? And by the way, depending on your answer, I will beat your ass half to death. Megumi ass was confused as fuck. He's like, what the hell? That makes no sense. Why would you do that? And he's like, bro, just tell me what kind of women do you like? Megumi thinks a little and he's like, I mean, if she got a good personality, I don't see a problem. And then this motherfucker starts crying and is like, damn Fushiguro. Your taste is trash! This nigga went on Fushiguro. to give Fushiguro the worst beating of his life for not liking the same women as him. This nigga Toto is really something else. But that was just the appetizer to the main course meal that is Hanami getting boxed up with the boogie woogie. Now before this fight, Toto and Itadori actually got into a little squabble themselves and Toto asked him the same question he asked Megumi. Hey bro, what kind of women is your type? And this nigga answers. Not gonna lie to you bro, if she's tall and got a wagon that moves like jello bro, I'm gay! Toto started crying and was like, <laughs> I finally found the best friend, bro. You're my brother now. And with that out of the way, these two gave Hanami a beating she will never forget. 
And yes, that's a she. Hanami showed up to the high school and started boxing everyone. There was nothing they could do about her. And then Maki showed up with her cursed tools. And you know, they, they actually started giving her the works. I'm not gonna lie. But in the middle of giving her the works, Fushiguro got got. Oh no, my guy, you got got, bro. Next thing you know, he had these stupid plants growing out of him. And Hanami explained that the more techniques he tried to use, the deeper the roots are gonna go. And then unfortunately, Maki got caught. And then Fushiguro started getting desperate. He was like, oh hell no, bro. I'm not gonna be the first person to go down, you know what? And he was about to use the cursed technique. But Maki yelled at him and was like, nah, bro. Our job here is done. And then the Menace Brothers showed up. Itadori and Toto finally got to the fight. And then Fushiguro had ass gonna say this. You die again and I'll kill you myself. What? Bro, what are you talking about, like, man? What? Like, bro, go sit down somewhere, bro. Now the real fight starts, right? And Itadori kicks the fuck out of her. And she's like, damn, that nigga fast. But I could keep up with him. Now as they continue fighting, Itadori goes and try to use a black flash. And fail. So Toto showed up and smacks the fuck out of him. Like, bro, what the fuck you doing? And then Toto starts giving this man a pep talk and mentions a honeymoon for some reason. I don't know why. But after the pep talk, Itadori was actually able to land a black flash. A real one. After getting smacked by the black flash, Hanami was like, you know what? I should take you niggas seriously. And releases her other hand. And then they start throwing hands, but they was going dummy in that fight, bro. And Hanami was thinking, hey, yo, if they continue like this, they might actually be able to damage me. And this bitch removed the plants from under their feet. After landing on their asses, but they, they just continue going at it like nothing happened. And then this bitch Hanami starts having an orgasm, talking about some Mahito, I'm finally getting a good fight. Like, bro, what are you talking Bro, calm down. It's just a fight. But as they're fighting, she throws this man Toto. And he was about to get impaled. But then he clapped. Her shit? Nah, I'm just joking. He clapped and switched positions with her. And Yuji was flabbergasted. Like, hey, yo, what the fuck? And then we get to the boogie woogie beatdown. They started jumping Hanami and wasn't giving her a chance to do anything. Toto was clapping and switching positions with Yuji all over the place. She didn't know who was coming to hit her or who's gonna teleport. She was just getting smacked. While she's sitting there getting the paws put on her by this boogie woogie, this man starts styling on her. Bro, this nigga was literally striking poses as he clapped. I knew characters could get disrespectful in anime, but bro, this is another level. To be styling on your opponent as you guys are jumping her and striking poses for the gram. That is wild. Like, bro, it didn't matter what she did, but she was just getting boxed. And this right here, ladies and gentlemen, this is the face you make when you are getting your ass thoroughly jumped. I hate when I'm watching Shonen, bro, and the main character will be getting pieced up by the villain, right? And the side characters are just sitting there giving reactions instead of helping. Like, damn, there's seven of y'all standing there. Go jump this nigga, bro. Like, stop standing around looking. Jujutsu Kaisen saw that trope and was like, nah, we not doing that, nigga. You getting jumped. You come on our turf and try to do some shit, bro. You getting your ass pieced up by everyone. They have no qualms about jumping your ass. But after that, Toto switched Itadori with the cursed tools that was left in the previous fight. And Hanami got some quick PTSD from when Maki was piecing her up with the tool. So she goes to open a domain expansion. But you know the light-skinned god himself, Gojo, was not about to let that slide. He breaks the barrier that was trying to keep him out and showed his beautiful ass eyes. <laughs> Who getting rizzed up first? He teleports to the weird butcher dude and turns his limbs into Twizzlers by just looking at him. And then this nigga uses hollow purple and just ends the whole fight. So yeah, Jujutsu Kaisen honestly has some of the best jumpings in anime. Cause these sorcerers give no fucks, bro. They're gonna jump you. And honest to God, I cannot wait to see who gets the next jumping in JJK. <laughs> Bye.